Well, good morning from North Idaho. This is Lori, Lori's Stamping Place, .blogspot.com. And grab your cup of tea this morning. Mmm. Peppermint. And let's get, do some crafting. Okay, so, well, let me t tell you a little bit more about what we're doing. I've been seeing a lot of these pinwheel tower A2 cards, and I thought, Oh, I'm going to make some. So I've made a couple, posted them, and I made another one. And let me get you down here so I, you can see. And I'm using, it wasn't around for very long, but I love this stamp set. And it's called Honey Bee. And so that's the one we're going to use to make this card right here, which is a pinwheel. You can see the pinwheel right here. See, it's a pinwheel and it does fold up and will fit into an A2 envelope. So this would be the front and it says wishing you sunshine and happiness. And then you turn it this, this way, sorry. And then you have uh, thinking of you sweet friend. And then you turn it this way and you have this one. I just love these papers. These were the double-sided uh, uh, designer series paper. And then you have this one here. And I did a little net, uh, beehive here where you could uh, put your little message that you wanted to write on it. So let's get started. And I'm going to set this over here out of the way. Because the first thing we need to do is we need a piece of the designer series paper. You can see this is the honeycomb side. This is the other side. And I'm going to use this side to score on, but it's four and a quarter by four and a quarter. That's the size it is. And what we're going to do is we're going to move the cutting blade. I've accidentally cut things instead of scored them before. And we're going to score this at one inch. It's real simple. One inch. And then at two inch. And I'm going to open this up to move it down. And then at three. And then the last one is four, which gives you a little um, strip that you're going to glue or tape. Okay, so I've got it scored. Now I'm going to get my bone folder out here. And uh, I want this to be on the inside. I don't know if you can see in there, but you can see the honeycomb paper. I really like that. Let's see, do I have it? Yeah, right there. Maybe you can see it. So I want that to the inside, so I'm going to uh, burnish my fold, my score lines in here. Do this one, and then one more. And then what I'm going to do, see I want that on the inside. So then I'm going to take this and fold it over. Now I have some real thin um, tape that I'm going to use and put a couple strips. You could use glue or you could use a quarter inch. This is more like an eighth of an inch and I'm going to go ahead and put a couple of them keeping it right inside that uh, fold. And then I'm going to remove the tape. So there's one. There's the other one. And then I'm just going to fold this over, keeping it even. Okay. And then I have my, my little tower. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, this is my fold right here is where I have the seam. Okay, so now 
You're also going to need four pieces of uh, whatever color you want to use. One of mine, I did a Blackberry Bliss. This one is black. And this is two and three fourths by four and a quarter. You need four of those. You need four of the mats. So I'm going to have two with this pattern and two in gold. And they measure two and five eighths by four and an eighth. I've changed mine from everybody else's because I liked less border. So you need four of those. And then you need four of these little side panels. And I have two in the honeycomb and then two in the stripe. And they're one and a half by four. Okay, so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna take this panel, one of these, and I'm going to take, I can use glue. Again, I could use liquid glue, but I've decided I'm not gonna use liquid glue. I'm gonna use tape and I'm thinking how I did this. I think I did it that way so my seam is over here. And I'm gonna put a piece of tape here. And I think I put like three strips of tape on on mine, not going over the the edge. It's all right if it overlaps one of the uh, pieces of tape. And then I'm going to remove this tape. Oh, here's the one. And one more. And then I'm going to take this seam here and match it up with the edge of this one. And making sure I have my tops and my bottoms in the way that they need to go. And there's our first, our first one. Then I'm going to flip it over. I'm just going to flip it over and I'm going to do this one here. And I prefer to cut my um, adhesive because if I tear it, it is tear and tape, but if I tear it, it tends to rip the paper. So I don't want to do that. Okay, and then I'm going to take this one and tear it off. And the last piece. And we're going to do this all the way around. I'm going to take another piece. And I'm going to put this right up against this seam. Okay. And burnish it down. And I'm going to flip this this way. So you just keep on going. And do, do it all again. And for time's sake, I think I'm going to just do two pieces on this one here. And get this up. Take this one, put it again. I'm going to kind of hold that down there. And put it right up. Making sure I'm even at the top and the bottom. And then I have one more side right here. Oops, I didn't want to bend that. Paper is sometimes forgiving when you do things like that. Let's put another one right here on this end. Come on. And <clears throat> sorry if I'm talking softly. I don't know why I do that, but sometimes I get to just mumbling. I don't know. So this will be our last piece for the background. Uh, stick that on there. There we go. And so here we have our base to this. Okay. So then we're going to take, and I'm going to put a piece of gold. Okay. So I'm going to build my first page and 
instead of tape, this time I'm going to use some glue, liquid glue. Now, the one that I made, I did use all um, adhesive, double-sided tape, but I thought, for time's sake, I'm just going to do this. Use the liquid glue, and then I want to, the liquid glue gives you a little more wiggle room so that you can, <gasps> yikes, I don't want to do that so that you can uh, move things around a little, a little, <laughs> not, not a lot. Okay, and then I'm going to take one of my beehives and I've already put uh, dimensionals on the back. So I'm gonna take those off and they do go flying everywhere. Those little things are very staticky, so. Um, and I think we're going to be good, but you know what? I like to, to cover all my bases, so I'm just going to put a little dot of glue to help hold this on here. Okay. And then I'm going to put this on here, like so. And I realize you're looking sideways, because I don't have this right in front of me, my camera. And then I'm going to take the little uh, Wishing You Sunshine and Happiness, which I stamped in uh, Versamark. And then I used some of the gold um, uh, powder and then heat set it. And so this has little uh, tape already on the back. So we'll peel the backing off of this. And... Again, this stuff does fly around, so because it's so staticky, but that's all right. Okay, as long as it doesn't get stuck where it's not supposed to stick. And then I'm going to put that up above here, like that. And then, well, I think we'll add a few bees. And my bees, I uh, stamped on a piece of paper. I did about six of them, and then I used the die from that s stamp set, and I was able to cut my bees out, so that's what I did there. So they're already cut, and I'm going to use one that, one has a pop dot and one doesn't, and the one that doesn't, I'm going to put a little bit of glue on it and stick it kind of like it's going inside the beehive right there and the other one i'll take that pop dot off and um, put it up here and then i have some little ones so i'm gonna take one of these put it down here and then I've got some little tiny ones that I fussy cut. So all these ones I fussy cut, all these bees there. So we're going to take the backing off of these little bees. And I'm going to put one on here. And I'll put another one over here. So there's my first page and while we're here I'm going to just go right ahead and take my little side piece here and put some liquid glue on it you can see the back it is double-sided paper and it's really really a pretty paper I was sad to see that this one didn't continue because this was a great set so anyway I'm going to stick that on here, make sure I have the same amount of border all over. And let's see, get over there just a little more. And any glue that squeaks out, I'll get it out of there. <laughs> so there is our first page. Okay, so then I'm going to flip it around. over here and then this one is going to have 
one of these and one of these honeycombs. So let's get this one. And I'll put a little bit of adhesive on here. And put this on here. Make sure we get it just the way we want it. And get that over there just a tad. Okay. There we go. This glue is very sticky. And yeah, there's the back side of that one. I just love, like I said, I just love this paper. And I was wanting to make something out of this and this paper, and I was like, hmm. And I got this idea, and I just thought, ah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use this to create this uh, to pinwheel tower card. And I just, I just love it. Okay, and then I did my little, the thinking of you, sweet friend. And I'm going to pull these little pieces off of here. And I thought I liked it at an angle, so I'm just going to stick it on here like that. And then I have some flowers. So I have one that faces this direction, and there's one that faces, let's if I can grab it here, the opposite direction. So I'm going to put this one on first and just put some little bits of glue. Making, I could have used probably glue dots or whatever, but I'm just going to do this. And I'm going to stick it on here like this. And then I'm going to, I have some gold that I had cut out. And um, I'm going to put a piece of that behind here. Uh, let's see, I don't want to get it on my finger if I can help it. And let's see, I think... I think I'll just come up like this, stick a piece right there, and I'll stick another one over here on this side. I'm going to put some more glue, and I'll just stick this one coming up over here, and then I'm going to take one of these, uh, um, let's see, I think it was wasn't that one. It was one of, hmm, one of these ones. And I'm going to put it right in the center of this, like it's going to get the flower. Okay, so there's that sign. Then I'm going to flip it and do another um, piece of gold and again I'm going to use some of the liquid glue and put that on here making sure I have a little bit of a border yeah that's pretty good and then we have another um, the, the glue really does stick to your fingers and then you're sticking to all your projects. <laughs> I'm going to peel these off. We're going to stick this other beehive on here. And, oops, come off there. Yeah, come off of there. Yeah, they're all sticking to me. Okay, so we're going to stick this one right here in the center. And then we're going to put some more bees. So here I have one that's flat with no pop dot on it. So I will stick that one up under here. This one I did put a pop dot. And we'll stick it up here. Then I have a couple more little, little guys here. I'll put one here. And I'll put one 
pull over here. And then on this side, we're going to go ahead and put this piece again. Maybe I'll just go this way. And let's see. Let's make sure we have it just the way I want it. Okay. And that's all I'm doing on that on that one. So, and then we have one more side. So let's pull that down. We're going to put this piece on. The ones I had seen done were um, really large ones that you'd need a, a bigger envelope and when I saw this one that was done with an A2 I was like "Ooh, yeah that's the one I want because I want one that can you know go in an envelope a regular envelope okay then we have this little uh hive for the sentiment so I'm going to go ahead and put some liquid glue on it and stick it on here and you could write who it's from or uh, you know whatever whatever you want to put on there and then we'll use this again and put it on this side over here and we have one more flower so I'm going to put that on and it's going to go this direction this time and a piece of a piece of this and so we get a hold of this. And I think I'll stick that down here. And it looks like I didn't cut enough um, bees. And I thought I did. I thought I had some more bees. Um, I do have another piece of this foil. Uh, so I'm going to put this one on there. This foil leaves. That I die cut out. Okay, let's get you on here. Come on, glue. All right, and I'm just gonna stick that one like maybe coming up here like this. And then, um, let's see what kind of a bee I used. I think it was one of those. One of these kinds, so I'm gonna cut it out of here. There we go. And so I'm just gonna fussy cut this. And I, when you fussy cut, you just turn your image. You don't turn your, uh huh. Sis, your, you know, your scissors. You don't cut around it. You just turn the, and it really does work nice and. So hopefully I'll get this right. I got my glasses on that I can't see close up. I usually take them off when I do this kind of work, but we'll just uh, do this anyway. So let's see here. Um, we've had some cooler weather. Boy, we were in the hundreds, which is unusual here in North Idaho. And uh, it's cooled down into the 80s. So <laughs> I say that's cool uh, compared to the hundreds. But I guess we're supposed to be up to 91 today. So that'll be quite warm. So there's my little, my little bee that I just fussy cut. And I will get one of these pop, uh, I call them pop dots, but dimensionals. Put that on there. 
that up for you. And I will stick my B right here in the middle. And then there's that one. So there is our card. You have this side, then this side, and then this side, and this side. And then you can just fold it all up and put it in an A2 envelope. So that is pretty cool. So I just wanted to make that card and show you, you know, do a tutorial on it. So I hope you give it a try. Thanks for joining me and have a great day. Bye-bye.